each other very well. Right out of the gate, the two executive counselors, Republican Chris Sununu and Democrat Colin Van Ostern, were asked if they think their challenger has the experience for the job. Is he a good businessman, do you think? Uh, he, I, as far as I know, he's had one private sector job for three years, so I don't know if that qualifies him as a businessman. Is Councilor Sununu a good businessman? Well, unfortunately for Waterville Valley, no. They disagreed on handling mental health background checks for gun buyers, minimum wage, and funding for Planned Parenthood. This isn't about politics, it's about people's lives. Someone always will be attacking Planned Parenthood or a woman's right to choose. We need a governor who knows to stand up for women and women's health 100% of the time. I've made the tough votes and I throw politics aside. If, if anybody has thrown politics aside on this issue, it's myself standing up against those political wins. They focused on education funding and if the formula should be decided by the courts or legislature. I'm amazed that Chris won't just say that he won't cut school funding in New Hampshire. We of course it's not about cutting school funding. Would you cut funding for our schools? No, it's not about cutting funding for well, our schools. I'm it's about making sure the legislature... pass the buck to the legislature, that's allowing the them The legislature to do it. is the people. And Van Ostern challenged Sununu for endorsing Donald Trump with a swift response. He is a dangerous threat to our country, and I think that politicians who put their own political ambitions ahead of just being honest with us about that, it, it calls their question, it calls your judgment into question. Are you saying Bill and Hillary Clinton are good role models for kids? So what did the two candidates for governor agree on? Both said no sales tax, no income tax for New Hampshire. Live in the studio, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.